hello guys welcome to my channel multiman in this video i'm going to show you how to create a login sign up and a profile page using a php and mongodb database in this tutorial you need to have basic knowledge in using html uh, language if you if you have more idea on css then this is also a plus because you can use this in styling your page i'm not going to use css in this project i'm going to code uh, in plain html and also you need to make sure you have your mongodb downloaded for your specific platform if you are mac os you make sure you download it for mac if you are windows or linux to you make sure you download for that particular system now you need to have uh, a, a, a text editor such as atom visual studio code or any text editor of your choice they also need to have a uh, zamp control panel which is going to act as our php server uh, this is going to enable us to preview our uh, server pages in our web browser last one you need to have uh, a basic idea in using php let's go ahead and download our mongodb database for our our os so first of all what you need to do is head to uh, mongodb.com so i think go to mongodb.com so you go to mongodb.com forward slash try forward slash download forward slash community so i'm going to put this link in the in the description where you can just click on it then you download so when you get to this page what you have to do is you have to download the mongodb community server for your specific uh, platform since i'm using windows i'm going to download this for windows and make sure you use the, the executable for a uh, version or the package if you are not going to use the zip but the executable package so you just click on download to start the process I, I, already i have this downloaded so i'm not going to download it again if you're on any other platform just look for your platform or search for the platform here after downloading the mongodb uh, the, uh setup you are just going to install your mongodb setup after installing you can just do a system restart then uh, what you need to do again is also download our text editor so i, I can use uh notepad plus plus so i'll be using sublime text editor so you can just go for any text editor of your choice then also you need to download the zam control panel which you can also go to uh i think when you go to google and you type zam yes this is going to uh bring up some options here so you select the first which is the apache friends www.apachefriends.org when you go they are going to download the latest version of zamp for your specific platform and since i'm using windows i'm going to download this uh, uh, uh program for windows so i just click on zamp for windows and you can see that I currently i'm downloading version 2.0 i already have uh version 8 sorry version 8.2.0 i already have version 8.1 downloaded so i'm not going to download uh this version i'll stick with version 8.1 but if you are new to if you are not downloading or if you're not installing zap i suggest you go for the version uh, 8.2 so this uh, page also you go for the one that you prefer for your specific platform so if you're on linux you download the linux version if you're on uh, mac os you download the mac os version same goes for the windows version so after downloading this what you need to do is you also need to install your zamp control panel okay so after installing you are going to have something like this so you have something like this what we need to since we are going to be dealing or we are going to be using mongodb as our database we are going to start only apache so when you start only apache now what we can do is uh we can just go to our web browser then inside our web browser we are going to type localhost then hit enter so when you hit enter you're going to have are going to be sent to the apache welcome page whereby you see the uh, version of your zamp 
that you are using so as i told you i'm using version 8.1.10 okay now what do you do from here so we need to make sure we are so i can close this now i can go to mongodb now we need to make sure we are using or we download the drivers for mongodb php doesn't come shipped with mongodb driver so we need to download it manually and add it to our php uh configuration so to do that what you have to do is just when you go when you go to when you come to this site mongodb.com forward slash docs all you have to do is just click on the search button here then you are going to search for php so i'll search for php i'll search for it now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to click the first version or sorry the first result or the options here okay so when you get to this page what you have to do is you, you can just take your time and read through the introduction uh, or the docs that they have here and how to set up uh your how to set up your php driver oh sorry your mongodb driver so what you're going to do is you're going to first you need to check the documentation and go to like read what is in the library so we click on library here then it says uh install the mongodb php yeah so we need this one so i'm just going to click on that one also yes so to do this what you have to do is uh you have to manually download the driver for your uh zamp version that you are using so you when you if you download a wrong version it's not going to work so what you do is you can go to this site so they have the github link that that is here so I'll, i'm also going to put that uh, link in the description where you can download it and uh sorry you can just click on the link then it will take you to their uh repo that they have here so what you have here is you can just go through the asset that they have here so this is their this version one point i think this is the current version that they have one point uh one five point five what you have to do is you look for the latest version or the version for your zamp and i'm using version so to do that you just start your apache set control panel you go to your web browser you enter localhost now you search for your version here so it says welcome to zamp for windows so this is the version 8.1.10 yours will be 8.2 or 8 point depending on the version that you, you are using you will see it here so i'm using 8.1.10 so 0 0.10 is still falls under 8.1 so what i'll do is i'll just come here then what we need to download the one with uh ts okay we need to download the one ending with ts so i think 8.1 so i have 8.1 so it starts from the 8.1 uh then we have nts nts but we need the one with ts and i'm my currently my i'm using my system is on uh bit 64 so i'm just going to uh click on 64 here to download them so i'll just click on this one to download the ts version for 64 i'll click start i'll open okay so when you open this what you have to do is now you have to go back to your zam control panel here you click on explorer and just minimize this when you click on explorer what you have to do is you have to look for a folder called php so you need to you need this folder called php open the folder now you need another folder called ext so uh, yes extension so ext means extension you need this particular folder you click on this one also and what you have to do is you just have to drag uh php underscore mongodb.dl so this is the driver that we need just drag only this driver and paste it inside your extension so you can see i already have the extension or the driver added inside the extension folder so i'm not i'm not going to replay i'm just going to cancel it but for your sake you have to call, uh, drag and paste it inside so after doing this uh, we need to do one more thing you need to inst uh, get the driver installed so you need to pull the driver from there uh, uh repo using the composer okay so what you have to do is you go back to uh mongodb our page this one then 
what you have to do is okay so after adding uh, where is our folder yes so after adding this one the driver to the extension folder let's go back then uh, let's look for php dot uh, ini so that's the configuration for php i'm just going to think is it this one is uh yeah, yes this one so i'm just going to open this with any text editor then you scroll all the way down you have to scroll all the way down scroll all the way down yeah so scroll so you get to uh think not this one okay so it's no we don't need uh, the production we need uh just the uh, i and i so i think this one this able to find this let me just yes let me do it this way so that i'll be able to see the file here i think this one yeah so you open the uh, the php this this configuration file then you scroll all the way down then looking at the documentation it says uh, once the extension is installed you should add the following to the php.ini file so you just copy this file you can just click on copy here you go back to the file so after you can add it anywhere so you can add it at the bottom in between anywhere so i just placed mine here so after uh on top of my sql i'm just going to i'm just going to pull this thing here so what you copy you just have to uh, paste it here so after pasting you can just copy the next one which is this one then also paste that one here so uh, make sure you paste the second one right down but i don't need the first one so i'll go with the second one so you paste the mongo php underscore mongo db dot dll you paste it here then you save your file okay so after saving the file so what we did was to just install the extension mind you we are, we are installing two files you are installing the extension then also installing the library so we are done installing the extension what you need to do is install the library using composer so you have to download composer so the preferred method of installing the mongodb php library is with composer so you can just click on composer here so i'm just going to open this in a new uh, tab click on download then this place just click on this one uh, composer setup.exe so you click on it to download then you install okay after installing you can just close this page then what you have to do is open command prompt here you have to open command prompt uh, then i'm just going to install the driver sorry i'm going to install the library on my desktop then i'll copy and i'll cut it from there so right now i'm going to navigate to my desktop by using cd desktop so this is going to take me to my desktop then i'm going to make a folder on my desktop called max okay so i'll say uh make directory driver so i'm just going to name it drive uh mongo driver okay so this directory will be created on my desktop so i can show you here so when i come to my desktop i'm going to you see i have this folder called mongo driver so now what i'll do is now i'll copy the code from the documentation here which says composer requires so we need to copy this code to pull the library from uh, their server using composer so i'm just going to copy click on copy i'll open my command from them i'll paste it here now let's let's open i'm going to open the mongo driver folder i'm going to open the mongo driver folder 
then i'll click uh, i'll press enter so you see this is going to do its own magic then if, every, if everything is successful this is going to download the drivers into the mongo driver folder okay so i think i have a slow internet here Let's copy and paste again. So copy this. I'll paste and this time I'll press enter. Okay, so this is going to just download. So you can see composer created a JSON file. It's going to download. Okay, so I think I downloaded this the desktop rather. I'm going to cancel this yes because I don't need it on the desktop I need it inside the folder okay so I'll do that once again so I'll just okay so what you have to do is open the mongo driver folder inside it I'm going to open command prompt so I think yeah from here I can install the driver so I'll just paste it again I'll copy I'll paste it I'll hit enter this time it's going to download it into the folder so you can see uh, now I have we have the dry the library being downloaded if you don't if you th this is the problem at hand if you don't copy or if you don't install the correct extension you are going to face errors here when you try to download using composer so make sure you download the correct extension from for your version of zamp yeah so download the correct one and it should be the ts i think the ts stands for type safe or something i don't i can't really tell but it's something safe so let's so now i have i have everything downloaded here what i need is this vendor folder this what this is the driver for my mongodb so i can just save this somewhere and can use this multiple times in your your subsequent uh, work or project that you'll be creating so now i can just exit from command prompt then i think i can close this one also